In this video, I wanted to show you guys the easiest and fastest way to generate a new NFT collection from scratch as long as you have the artwork and then immediately start minting them and having them show up on OpenSea. So what you're going to want to do is come over here to mintables.club and create an account. So I already made an account. I'm just going to actually go to my projects. I'm going to add a new project. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is create something called a group. So in this project, I'm going to be using the Dino Bros collection that I've been using for all my videos. I'll call this one Dino. And the first thing with my Dino is that it has a background. Then I'll come over here to my backgrounds and I can take all my backgrounds and I can just drop them in. I'm going to do this for every other layer that I have. So I'll do one for body. Drag this in. And I'm just going to do this for all my layers and I'll see you back here in a second once I'm done. Perfect. So now I've dragged in all my assets. I've uploaded everything. And if I want to see what it's going to look like, I can come down here to workspace, click on that and hit preview. And this will start randomly generating NFTs for me. So I'm thinking this looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy. And I, I actually want to start minting these. I want to start selling them. I want to start minting them. I can come down here and hit deployment. And this is where you're going to start deploying your contract. A smart contract is just a way to hold a collection of NFTs. I have another video on how smart contracts work. So if you have any questions, you can go check out that video. For now, what you got to do if you, if you want to start minting your NFTs is you have to choose which blockchain you want to put them on. I'm going to choose Polygon for now because it's, it's just cheaper. And I'll give this a name and I'll call it my Dinos Project. So this right here is also going to be the URL of the minting page. So make sure you pick something that makes sense for your project. here. You also have to give your project a name and I'll call it Dino for the symbol. Now I can pick a marketplace. I'm just going to pick Simple Minter for now. A Simple Minter is probably what you are normally used to in most minting pages. It's kind of just a random minter. So every single time somebody mints something, it'll give them a random NFT from your collection. And I'll say it's 10,000. And let's say the minting price, I'll set it to be pretty cheap, maybe just 0 0.05. I'm going to hit Create Contract. And in about five minutes, your minting page is going to be set up. So our contract is finished deploying. You can see the cost of, of an NFT to mint an NFT is 0 0.05. So that's what we said last time. And there's nothing in the actual contract yet. There's no balance yet because nothing's been minted yet. And I can click on View to take a look at the minting page that Mintables created for us. And this is what it looks like. There's 10,000 NFTs of 10,000 left since you know nothing's been minted yet. And we said that the total supply in this contract would be 10,000. If I wanted to change the way this looks a little bit, I can come back here and I could change the theme to be a lighter themed. Come back here and refresh the page. I get a lighter themed minting page. There's also a different template called Marquee. Let's take a look at what that looks like. And this just kind of creates a more fun minting page, but we're going to have more and more of these moving forward. So these minting pages are just ways for you to share your project. So I'll go ahead and mint one for my own collection. Obviously you would want, you would want other people to be minting them, but I'll go ahead and mint one for my own collection just to show you what this is going to look like. If you've ever minted from a different collection, this should look pretty familiar. It'll ask you to confirm in MetaMask. And if I hit confirm, I can now see my NFTs pending. You can see that it has a name of my first Dino project number zero, and it got a random set of attributes. And this is the image and the transaction is currently pending. So this takes about two to three minutes for any mint to clear. This is true for any NFT collection out there because it's trying to save data to the blockchain that I am now the owner of this NFT. Okay, awesome. So there's my little Dino and he's been minted officially. Uh, so he's totally saved onto the blockchain. And you can see that the OpenSea link here is set up for you automatically. I can click on that and take a look at what it looks like on OpenSea. And it looks the exact same. And it has all the same properties. So you can see all that carried through properly. And this is all done. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set royalties for this collection. And I can do that because I am the owner of this collection. So OpenSea will let will they'll know automatically that I am the owner of this collection because of this wallet address. This is the wallet address that I used 
to create the contracts back here. Okay, so you have to make sure that it's the same wallet address that you're connecting to OpenSea as the one that you use to actually deploy your contract on Mintables. If it is the same wallet address, it'll all be stitched up correctly and it should just work. So you should be able to come to OpenSea, look at your collection, click edit. And now I can actually change my collection. So I have some DinoBro pictures here. And let me, I'm actually not gonna set a featured image or a banner image. What I wanted to show is that you can come down here and you can see here, you can change your creator earnings. So this is the fee that you can take every single time somebody tra uh, trades one of your NFTs in this collection. I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna make the payout wallet address just this wallet address that I use for the contract creation. Okay, well, I actually went back and I tried to make my collection on OpenSea look a little bit better. So I gave it a better title and I actually set a cover photo and I gave it a website link. And right now the website link just takes you to the minting page. Because all I really wanted to do in this video is just show you how you can go from having nothing but your artwork to having a minting page and a smart contract deployed and ready to go, fully integrated with OpenSea. And the whole thing took me probably 10 minutes. So I hope that's helpful, and I'll link to some other videos that try to go a bit more in depth into how all of this stuff works. But that's all I wanted to show you today. So yeah, goodbye.